Hello everyone, Stars OJ here, and it's time to tip the scales for a game called Phantom Doctrine. Okay, um, Phantom Doctrine is a game that came out, I think, like, one or two years ago. Um, I, all I really know about it is that it's a, um, stealth base, it's, a, it's like XCOM, except more focused on stealth, and it's not quite Invisible Ink. It's a mix of the two, I guess. A turn, a turn-based spy thriller. I mean, you can play as uh, it's during the Cold War in 1983, so you got subterfuge and Cold Warisms, Communists, Soviet Russia, that sort of thing going on. All sorts of stuff. Like, I'm, I'm not entirely too sure about what the um, game entails, but I do know it's um, stealthy, I guess. And hey, why not? It was, um, it was on, it's on sale at Steam, and I figured, okay. Not sure if we're going to make a whole long series out of this, or it's just going to be a short. We'll see, though. So anyway, um, I'm going to play on easy because I don't you know, like that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have all the subtitles on. Oh, okay, so I need to actually... So I can only play on regular mode. Right, body disposal unavailable. There's those here, level suit player, so... Good for, I, I know how XCOM is played, I know how Invisible Link is played, I haven't played either one in a while, so might as well. So it's the standard storyline, and there's an extended version, which I guess you've got to do the regular version to, to do, so never know. Anyway, as for um, who you played as. So I can either be Russia, I can be Soviet Russia, or United States of America. The four, I think the third one, according to what the, one of the reviews said, they said it was a, um, they said, they said Mossad. I don't know, uh, how to do Israeli accent? Probably not Israeli accent. Whatever. Do Soviet Russia, you know, dark comrade. Hey, um, look at all this, look at the pictures you can take. Yeah. And then if you're a female, you get whole different portraits. Nice. So I think I'll start as the I think I'll start as the Americans. I'll start as the Americans, cause you know America, hell yeah, Amer America, freedom. So now I'm gonna for, now I'm gonna look at the passport photos and find the most the most patriotic looking um, hardcore American out there. Just someone who someone who says who says America. I don't know. Oh, that guy actually that guy there says Canada. Yeah, play jacket. Play, play, played shirt. He sound, he looks more like a lumber. He looks like a lumberjack. So, is that to consider? I don't know. This guy's got a. This guy's got like a mustache. Again. It's got like a scar on him, and a mustache. But mm, yeah, we got a pirate. Or at least some of an eye patch had lost their eye in the war. I don't know. No, nothing really. Nothing really standing out as freedom. Just nothing. Nothing standing out as just. I don't know. No one's wearing a trucker hat. I mean, where's the, where's the trucker hat? Okay, now that, that, that guy looks like a dock worker. Yeah, he looks like a longshoreman or something. I mean, or just works on the pier, doing stuff. Yeah, I'm not really, like, no one's wearing a trucker hat. That guy's, that, that guy, it's a nerd. This guy says, I don't know. <laughs> this guy looks like he's, looks like he's gonna, he's gonna run some dictatorship in South America. And this guy looks like he's gonna overthrow it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just <laughs> yeah. Let's have, let's have a look at these ones. See if anyone else who says America. Yeah. Yeah. Who am I kidding? No one really. No one's stick sticking out as America. So we'll go with the Canadian guy. We'll go, to, we'll go Terry King, the Canadian. Because, you know, who says, who says America more than Canada? Eh? Canada. Uh. Okay. Go name dead man. I don't know. Well, if he is, if he is going to be, if he's a lumberjack, then he's got to be stocky, I guess, because that's okay. Yeah, let's make him white because you know, Canadian lumberjack. He's out in the cold and you know, not a lot of sunlight. Okay, 
get a lot of sunlight out there, so let's go with that. Okay, we've got a, we can go with a mullet, a bogart, a <laughs> row, zoinks! Where's, it, where's a big, is there a big bushy beard we can go with? Okay, we've got a handle and soul patch, goatee and chin strap, five o'clock shadow. So we've got a full beard, but nothing like, you know, just... Yeah, can I make it green? Huh. Neat. Jean jacket, come on, where's the... <laughs> track suit. Desk jockey, turtleneck, G-man. Cardigan. Where's the plaid shirt, like in that photo? Shirt and jacket. Come on, where's the plaid shirt? Polo and leather. Damn, yeah, no. <laughs> man, man, dark. This is heavy. So we've got a flannel. It says, it says, it says down vest and flannel. So where's the flannel? That's the word I was looking for. Flannel. I can't seem to find flannel. So, down vest and flannel it is, and... Yeah, let's... let's... Actually, no, since he, since he is in the, from the Canadian wilderness, we'll have to make it, um... Have to make it bright orange, because, you know, that's what lumberjacks are like. You know, they've got to wear the bright colours, so everyone knows in there. Cargo pants, suit pants, duty pants, leather, track suit. Oh, we've got loose fit jeans. I mean, that kind of works. Make it that. Get a fingerless. Yeah, I'm gonna spend so much time customizing, aren't I? Leather gloves, because you know, again, he's, he's gonna be he's gonna be handling he's gonna be handling lumber work. So I don't know why I'm making, I don't know why I'm going with the whole lumberjack thing, but I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm going along with the theme. <laughs> Tall boots, I mean, not like he's gonna be seen. Don't know why I'm going the lumberjack thing, but I'm going for it anyway. So we've got loose fit jeans, but it's either cargo it's either cargo pants or Yeah, it's it's either cargo pants or the loose fit jeans. Yeah, let's go let's let's keep it let's keep it that colour. Got a beret, Panama, felt fedora. Damn, look at the ooh, a hooligan cap. <laughs> no. There's a, there's a trucker hat I was thinking of. I mean, oh, there we go. That's can, that's Canadian. <laughs> and then they got the pirate, of course. That's an eye patch guy. It's got to be green. As of the eyewear. Tortoiseshell, octagonal, aviators. Nothing with the slats on them. There, that's the one I was thinking of. No, but... An earpiece, huh? So we can shout timber! Yeah, he's out there in the woods. Might as well. Alright, no... That US is our patriot? Come on. Road, we've got a stalking bird of prey, we've got a five star spider web. Just nah, nothing. As for the scars. Yeah, just like going to a fight and he you know beat up some I mean, I, I know he's Canadian, so he probably apologized after breaking after he got his nose after he after their fist broke his nose, he, he apologized for it. He's like, sorry mate, sorry mate, sorry man. That I broke your that I broke your fist from my nose. <clears throat> the events are about the sea may have been buried or covered up. Those with traceable records mark the specific date they occurred on. Verify at your own risk, but trust no one. CS Marquis.
This is Golf Yankee Juliet uniform. Reporting contraband seized. Understood. Break off patrol. Head back to base. Tavarish, HMS Conqueror Narushal Radio Malchani. Что? Показать расшифровку. А быстрее. Немедленно послать в Москву. Немедленно. Let him see us now. We got intel from Vladivostok. It's big, Steve. Steve! Have they finally seen it yet? No. Should they? Hell yeah, but use the network. We don't want anyone listening in. Damn, First the seen. British, and now the Americans. Was there anyone else you wanted to involve in our plans? I am handling it, Valhalla. Get out. Both of you. Your incompetence has exposed us. Now Iceberg is in jeopardy. Doing all of this in the open was your idea. True. It was a simple plan that any fool could have executed. And you failed. Gentlemen, this problem is easily solved. What traitors? Now, now, don't shout. It's bad for your heart. Ouch. Okay. So, uh, so high value cargo is hijacked by British agent Kingfish to redeploy in UK, run recovery ops phase one in the British sector, that is a reform secured location, activate sleeper asset rook. Further orders be disclosed in due course, my handler is Valhalla. So I've got to reach the so my objective is reach the sleeper road and activate his control phase, seal some map manifests, and evacuate on the other side of the border. Full cover is more effective than low cover. Alright. I hope you have a good reason for pulling me off that RAF kick. Absolutely. This operation is crucial to Project Iceberg. Why are you even talking to me? You're taking an awful risk. Nonsense. They may be expecting defectors, but not the kind of hardware you're carrying. Ihre Papiere, bitte. Hi, Evan. <laughs> Please. Nothing personal. So you just shot a security guard on your way in, and no one else is going to hear. No one else is going in there. The locator chip indicates the sleeper is in position. Are you familiar with? Who could forget that handsome place? So infiltration stage guards only recognize using suspicious moves in the camp position. You're safe for now. Now I don't trust your tutorial. The game did tell me trust no one. Movements cause action points, some action special combat can cause fire points, fan drops a turn-based gain, so I can end my so I have to end my turn. So no one's gonna notice the dead guard over there. Okay, no one's noticed him? No? So if we go over here, uh Okay, so it's like invisible link, you can find the patrol path. Nope, it's not, I'm trying to find the end turn hot key. So it's not spacebar or enter. Yep, got it. Okay. So keep an eye out for any. So keep an eye out for patrols. This guy is going to just sit, sit there in front of that car for like forever. I'm now trespassing. All right, and of course, the uh, control unit for the camera is just over there. It's like, okay, just, just go over there. Right, go there. Uh, yeah, you want to go there? Kane, can you let me go there or something? Okay, I found the, I found the terminal. What do we What do we want me to do? Oh, so just click on the terminal, okay. Deal with the security quietly. We don't want unnecessary trouble. 
Okay, security's down for like, I think it says... I think it says five, seven turns, right? Now before it... Oh, so you're not going to just go... So... You're not going to let me peek through the door, are you? Like, oh, nope, just going to open the door. <laughs> really? Uh, okay, so I'm using mouse wheel to change floors. It's like XCOM, like in that, in that, in that regard. Abilities, take down. So I think pass it target non lethal against civilians. Ooh, cold clocked. So this is like your, so that's your action points, I guess, or your, your like your mana. I, 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 I'm this is like your mana, I guess. Wait, use spotter. Okay. Okay, so we've got someone to swap him from a distance, do we? Loki can see documents, but we'll have to breach the room. Don't worry, I'll clean the mess up. Waiting on you. Alright, and of course, prepare for a breach. Let's go into the breach. Reach reality. Wait. Okay, so anyone who's been designated a shooting account hostile suppressing Overwatch. So what do I? Okay. So it says here, right mouse button enemies to lock them as target, right mouse button again to remove target lock. Um. So we're in combat. So we just shot some people because now Incognita is coming into, well I'm sorry, Incognita's, it can't, keep us, can't keep us down forever. Yeah, steal documents from the safe. We've got the customs papers. Good. Head to the evac zone. The driver will take you directly to Glasgow. Copy. Over and out. Mm-hmm. Extraction order confirmed. Okay, so I've got a overwatch here. End turn. So of course, when we set up Overwatch, uh, we're gonna watch out for Tracer and um, Soldier seventy six or seventy nine, whatever they, whatever he's called, and Winston. And watch out, and upon stepping out, watch out for Bastion. He might he might have a turret. He might be setting up nearby. Or Torbulin. Jump out the window like a boss. Ben, Doctor, there's no random chance. To okay, so there's. Okay, targets dodging the incoming attack fire out of point blank range. Dodging costs awareness. So 
enemy agents. Okay, so if we, if we have to face enemy agents, they're um. So, so from what I'm understanding, that it's like it's like okay, again, it's like Invisible Link, except you know, except instead of everyone taking one hit. So that guy's dead. Okay. All right, a van's here. Okay, so when you call for an evac, get there as quick, get to the chopper as quickly as possible. All right, let's get, let's, uh, let's exfil. All right, let's See, I'm not going to learn anything from this from this mission at all. I mean, this is a tutorial, and they are trying their best to teach me how to play the game, but. Chances are, I don't know how but this is gonna not end well for me. Anyway, so I guess this is where we start an actual mission. So we're doing a raid somewhere in Pakistan. We've got to find proof of a project, and then we've got to get out of here. Keep an eye out for things. Keep an eye out for things. And save scum if possible. You really think this Pakistani nuclear program is legit? Leslie's usually right about these things. Really? Shit. I bet him ten bucks it wasn't. You're a hopeless dreamer, Bolt. Alright, it's deadpan. I don't know, eh? So, as it turns out for infiltration, so we've got, so we've got three agents. Canasta, Durant, and deadpan. Uh. Okay, so, again, I'm not really... What I don't want to do... Okay, so he's got a patrol. He's patrolling, right? No, I don't want to. No, no, no. Okay, so how do I? Okay, so I just highlight over him. He patrols that way. He goes that way. He's just gonna stand there. So this guy's about raising alarm. This is actions will trigger combat. So this guy's not really gonna do much. As for where I need to go. Okay, this is, um, ooh, I, can't, I need to loot stuff over there. So I guess what I should do is... Can you disguise as well? Okay, so that, so that, that's the disguise option. Got it. So if I move you over here... This doesn't look restricted at all. Yep, no, one, no one's going to notice her. So this guy's moving there, this guy's just going to stand there and he's going to keep an eye on things, I suppose, so no one can, can open that locker. Yeah. Which means I need you, Mr. Canadian guy, to... I don't know, just stand here and, apolo and apologise. Hi guys, hi man, hi guys, eh? I'm just here to, I'm just wandering the boots about and making sure that uh, everything's in order. Yes, please do not, please do not uh, suspect me of anything. 
I am perfect. I am a perfectly normal. I am perfectly normal Pakistani. Sorry. Sorry about this, but I am perfectly normal. Yeah, perfectly normal. Sorry. Yeah. Hmm. Go over here. Oh, I have to go over here to open the to open the to loot things. Fine. All right. So I've stolen some stuff. So I've got some stuff from that. So it's, going to be, so it's a small map right now. I think, the off, I think this is the sealed off area they're talking about. Again, perfectly normal Pakistani, eh? Okay. Do not suspect me, because I am just... <laughs> Hi. I am here as nuclear... I am... I am here to do to inspect nuclear missile program to inspect nuclear missile bomb. You guys got nuclear missile bomb? So what do we got? What's this? Zen. Okay, and we got this. Stabilize, focus, and take down. And awareness. So we got one. We got one action point, I guess. But we have to go into a restricted area. Anyway, and the only way I'm seeing if that's possible is that you got to. I think you got to steal a key off someone or destroy a barrel, I guess. Again, perfectly normal. Perfectly normal here. I'm gonna jump out. I'm gonna take this window. Again, perfectly normal. Uh, yeah, perfectly normal. See? No, don't suspect me at all. <laughs> yes, I'm just... I'm just jumping out of the window. I'm, I'm a perfectly normal person jumping out of a perfectly normal window. Nothing suspicious here. We just... We just don't want to use the door, okay? Nothing suspicious about us going through the window like that. Yes, I'm gonna exploit this for as much as possible. Yep, just jumping through the door. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see. We are fine. So I'm not sure if we're on a timer or anything, if, or if I can just take my time as long as I don't get myself, as long as no one spots me. It's like Invisible Link all over again. It's like... It's like... Okay. That guy there, that guy's Steve, okay? That's Steve. Steve is like, yep. Guy jumping out of a window. Perfectly fine. I don't see anything suspicious about a guy, about a person doing that. Because that's what Steve does. That's what... It's a totally Steve thing. And what have we got here? We've got a scientist of some sort. We got some sort of scientist who, who works on inventions, I guess. Hi, I'm just going to stand around and tell you a briefcase of, doc of important documents here. Nothing, nothing suspicious at all. Yep, nothing suspicious here. Hi, Steve! How's it going, Steve? Eh. <laughs> yeah, Steve doesn't care. Yep, Steve does not care at all about what we're doing. Yep, no one cares about the Canadian guy standing in front of the... Standing in front of the
Uh, yeah, can I open that, please? Can I... Please, open the... Briefcase, right. Uh, I think that's what we need to, um, I think that's what we need to look at. No, we don't have action points for it. Just stand there. Stand there and look nice for the cameras. You yep, just keep an eye out for Steve or his or his, or his cousin. Laser barriers. There's definitely something valuable. Wait, laser barriers? But well, then again, lasers do make superior security systems, right? <laughs> Laser makes security makes superior systems. Again, no one's noticing. <laughs> yep, no one's no one's caring. Got some loot and stuff to grab. Abilities. So what is what is this guy's? What is Canadian guy's abilities? Mm-hmm. Cold cockham. Just cold cock this person as well. Sorry, scientist. Sorry, ma'am, but it's not like we we can't really risk it. So in order to get past this laser barrier, I've got to find a way around it. Suspicious, I hope. Hey. Okay, laser barriers are offline. Uh, yeah. And nothing suspicious here, Bob. That's right, that's Bob. Bob is... It's not, um, you know... Bob's not gonna question the guy over there who just cold cocked someone from a distance. Yep. Hi, I'm just running... Oh! Turns out there's an accident, there's a... We had a react... We had a reactor... We had a reactor... Reactor core breach. Um, yeah, we're gonna need to shut it down. Okay, yeah. So, are they incapacitated for the rest of the mission, or do I need to work quickly? Yep, totes nothing suspicious here. Next turn, let's see what happens. Check over here. So this guy's just gonna move that way. Got it. Again, nothing suspicious here. off area just <laughs> yep smash some windows no 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 end turn everyone yep we're perfectly allowed in here 
We are perfectly we are perfectly normal nuclear reactor technicians. Perfectly normal nuclear reactor technicians. There is nothing to see here. Yep, perfectly normal nuclear reactor technicians. I think the reactor's over here. I'm getting on the roof just to um see what's actually if I if I can actually get there. So this is breaching the bunker recommended. But I don't want to breach the bunker. That sounds that sounds dumb. It sounds dumb to breach a bunker in a, in a stealth mission. Although then again, I did incapacitate two scientists. I'm not exactly sure what that entails. Do they wake up or anything, or are they just out for the rest of the mission? Oh, who goes there? Oh, it's just you. Some perfectly normal nuclear reactor technicians. Got it. So there's no, no, nowhere else I can go into. I can't get in the bunker anywhere else. So I've got to find proof that the project is over there. Yeah. You're just gonna. Oh, just gonna. You're just gonna go back and forth like that, aren't you? Hi! Hi! Perfectly normal! Very, very normal! Standing by to order. Yes, yes, yes! Very normal, very normal female person in in hazmat suit. I mean, you got a female scientist back there. It's not like. Pack, it's not like. It's like we're having frictions or something. No, no, no. Everyone's equal. Everyone's equal enough to work here. I'm not sure if that's like a perfectly normal thing to just jump down here. Yep, not suspicious. <laughs> ah, Carl. Dang it, Carl. Yes, Carl, just. Don't mind. No, 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 no. Ugh, I really need, they really need a but like, is there a hotkey for this? Let's cook it. Maybe an option just to open the door or something. Yeah. Alright, take him down silently. Alright, I'm just gonna save again, because I'm... A bit paranoid here if I open the door. Oh, hi there, I'm just Carl. Just Carl. So it's very suspicious if he walks in and grabs something. Got it. Uh, I need to inspect. I need to inspect your uh, data tapes. Yeah, uh, data tape inspector. I am here to uh, inspect your data tips. Yeah. So you're just gonna stand here, aren't ya? Oh, we found the reactor though. Yep, perfectly normal. Oh, okay, so they do move. Uh -huh. Yep, just stealing your data. Leslie, Bolt totally owes you ten bucks. We've got a reactor and what looks like a fishing device. Well, the chest is even. Get out now. Huh. We'll save some leg work if we jump over the wall from the roof before Bolt. I heard you. Activate your beacon now. I'll meet you at the LV. 
Not quite. We still got some information to grab. Uh, hopefully, no one's no one's seen our no one's seen the bodies lying around. Okay. Yeah, no one's seen the bodies lying around, right? I'm just gonna have you move over the way over here. Yep, perfectly normal. So there's no way to shut the cameras off? Yep, just position yourselves very carefully and no one noticed that no one noticed the guy the guy's been cold cocked out there. Okay, no one noticed the guy's been cold cocked, got it. Radio. What the? Too many Christmas. We're alive, Leslie. Good. I am static. What happened? The test. It didn't blow us to pieces. Don't test it. Don't miss out the chair. But they have the technology. Okay, so I think everyone's in position. So is there any option to actually yeah. coordinate an attack? I'll do this. Damn, Activate combat, right? But. Okay, he's dead. Sounds like, sounds like we have to go full auto here. Should have just breached in the first place. And he's dead. Okay, they're all down. Okay, get the, let's get the intel and get out of here now. So are we in combat or are we back to infiltrating? Okay, so I think I can just get in there. Okay, so I've got four, I've got four turns to get over there and not get my ass kicked. Got it. Get out of here, guys! Come on, go, 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 go! Alarm raised. Dead body found, but ugh. guess I'm gonna bring in reinforcements. Let's get out of here. Go, 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 go! Come on, deadpan! Come on, Canadian guy, let's go! <laughs> Sorry! Sorry about that, everyone! I mean... I know, I know it's a... I know it's... I know all the shooting is not very good and all, but... I'm sorry. Sorry about... Sorry about the mess I created, I'm... I'm very, very sorry about the mess, okay? Really, I am. Okay, and then you got... Okay, so you can't really overwatch. Yeah, very sorry about the, um, about the mess I created before I'm shooting everyone.
mean, I kind of wanted to not do that, but I wasn't left with much choice now, was I? Take cover. Yeah, 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 come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Go, 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 go! And canasta. Yeah, so I kind of didn't want to shoot everyone, but I kind of did shoot everyone. Uh, yeah, I guess it's how... That's, I guess it's how the game is played. I'm not sure the dead, that dead guy had, had a family or not. Shots fired! Shots fired! Go, go, go! Yep, jump over the fence. Yep. We're nearly out of, we're nearly out of this mess. Let's go, go, go! Next turn. Here comes the chopper. Uh, ow! Get to the chopper! Get to the chopper! Do it! Do it now! Let's go! To the chopper! Bring her in! Whee! Looks like fun. <laughs> No one suspected a thing. So let's see. Equipment acquired. Didn't acquire all the equipment I could find. Complete all the objectives. No one left behind. No casualties. Except for... No, no civilian casualties. Okay. And we acquired all the classified documents. We didn't get all the equipment we needed. No danger increase. Continue. But yeah. That's, uh... Not bad. I'm not sure if, like, if I end the video here, what's going to happen. Is there a base building mechanic I'm supposed to be working on? Or is there another mission? So we'll see what happens then on the video. Well, here we go. Alright. So we have some secret files. We have some intel. We have some contacts. So we have light armor. We've got a gun. Continue. Technical summary says everyone lived. Oh, we got a new perk, huh? Agent Dossier. Major's on the line. Someone must have told him about our little trip. Put him through. Agent Deadman. Uh, I regret to inform you that an, an inspection of your operations is imminent. Why is that? Hard to be sure. But my money is on the allegations of an unsanctioned operation in Pakistan. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. Leslie. I am. Keep, keep ignoring that, and you'll lose the squad. Bend her out. Okay, so, uh, apparently I've been kept on, kept on alert or something, or I've been warned. So I don't have any, um, stuff to deal with. I've got frag grenades, I've got a first aid kit. Okay, so we've got a bet. So we've got a Navy SEAL here. Canasta's from also from the United States Marine Corps. Well, at least, I mean, like the Navy SEALs and the Marine Corps are like the same kind of thing. Except you know, SEALs like the other commandos. Okay, so she's got a first aid kit and a flashbang, flashbang grenade. And there's no silencers available. I can't buy, can't buy anything for it.
Okay. So keep that equipped. So we have some trainings and stuff available. When they when they hit the damage from firearms, exertion. But anyway, I think I'll end the video here. I've been Stars RJ, and perhaps I'll be tipping the scales in the favour of um, the CIA in the next episode. Signing off.